Bouche manger. Oh, small plates, casual chic ambiance, no free soda refills. Jakey's going on a date. Are you going on a date with Amy? What? No, why? Uh, because you guys just kissed on that mission. Charles, we just kissed because we were undercover, that's it. Yeah, it didn't mean anything. Not that it's any of your business, Boyle, but the person that I'm taking on a date is a girl from the gym. What? Why is this the first time I'm hearing about her? Or that you go to the gym, Jake. Avoid the weights. Nobody wants you turning into another Terry. Ugh. Hey, people like the way that I look. Sure they do, big guy. Look, I can't believe you're gonna take some fitness floozy to bouche manger. You should be going with Amy, right, Amy? Uh, whatever, dog. Date the flues. See? It's never gonna happen, Boyle, okay? Because I find Amy repulsive, and she finds me extremely handsome. So stop pressuring us. Oh, you sweet, naive boy. I haven't even begun to pressure you to. I've already written my best man speech for your wedding. So how was the restaurant? Such a normal time. Why are you being weird? Amy and I kissed. What? To keep our cover from being blown, we didn't have a choice. Tell me everything. Charles, it was just a kiss, OK? It was for work. It was nothing. Yeah, who cares about a kiss? Call me if you grab each other's asses. He's pulling over. It's going down. You guys are so naive. It's never nothing. In high school, I played Daddy Warbucks and Annie. Becca Merce played Annie, and we were supposed to hug on stage. At first, that seemed like nothing, too. But by opening night, we were full on making out. As Daddy Warbucks and Annie? Mm-hmm. The audience was not on board. Playwrights through the school. Guys, guys, it's not a handoff. He's leaving the package. OK, you and Rosa follow Augustine. Right. And you and Amy, follow your hearts. No, we're gonna stay with the package. And each other forever. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Boyle, can we please just go to dinner? No, 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 no! This is not how you and Amy are supposed to end. You're supposed to grow old and die holding each other as your cruise ship slowly takes on water. What do you want me to say? We tried really hard. We made rules. We kept it light and breezy. Light and breezy? Ow! Light and breezy is how you describe a linen pantsuit, not a relationship you care about. We were just being cautious. Cautious? Ow! You guys started this with one foot out the door. That's what doomed you, not the universe. That actually makes a lot of sense. Ow! I was agreeing with you! I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about all this. All right, so what do I do? Tell me. Easy. You march over there, you tell her how you feel, and you bring a fancy bottle of lavender shampoo because shampooing a woman's head is the most erotic thing you could ever No, possibly. no, no shampoo. That's the worst. But I am going to go over there. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Yeah, you go get her. No! Wait till it starts raining. No, that's crazy. Go now. OK. Ah! Sorry! Sorry. That's OK. I was home, and I really wanted to talk to someone about us and Dozer Men and about Holt being gone and then I realized that the only person I want to talk about that stuff with is you. So, screw just being colleagues and screw light and breezy, right? Definitely. Guys, we did it. We really did it. Oh, Charles is here. Big time. Listen, guys, Jake and I were talking last night. Pillow talk alert! Set the scene. Spooning or face to face? Charles, spooning. Anyway, we came up with a plan. Jake is going to befriend the vulture, so he lays off of us. It's true. I'm gonna bro down with him. If everything goes according to plan, we should be beer pong doubles partners by the end of the week. Ooh, a lover's quarrel. No, I'm just tired. I didn't ask for part two. Never fear, Amy, for I have the solution to all of your problems. Highly potent liquid speed. Oh, you're gonna love that stuff. Devin, we're cops. Read the room. But I know you'll be excited because I busted Devin here with four vials of this, which is a new drug called... Taxi! You actually found some? Yep. Your CI was right. It's popping up on the corners. Man, my snitches are the best. The key is to always send them handwritten thank you notes. Oh, so what do you say? Shall we take this partnership from the sheets to the streets? Oh, our first case is a couple. Why not? Hey, guys. I just discovered a new drug, too. It's called your relationship, and I'm high on it. Charles, I'm gonna need you to back off, man. Roger that. Her perp's name is Carl Ove. My CI said he's selling counterfeit caviar out of a blue stall. This place smells like a squid farted inside a whale's butt. Yes, that is the exact combo of smells. Nicely done. 
Hey, next week is my six month anniversary with Amy. Should I do something special? You know what I like about our relationship, Jake? We don't talk about our love lives or our families or anything that's on our minds. It's why you're my closest friend in the world. Yeah, I know, but I need help on this. I asked Boyle and he was useless. Put a baby in her, Jake. What are you waiting for? I don't know. Is anyone gonna buy it? I mean, do I look pregnant? I mean, I guess I can see it. I think it's amazing. Oh, Jake and Amy and baby makes three. I don't know if I believe in God, but I have prayed for this. That is psychotic. Love it when everyone chants that. Mm. So, Charles and I really got into it on the plane, and around Sunday number five, I realized we should move in together. You and Charles? No, you and me. Oh, yes, that makes so much more sense. Absolutely, immediately let's do that. <sighs> I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much too. I love this so much. So I guess Charles was listening to our conversation. Yeah. yeah. Oop, I'm gonna get this. Hey, we never really got a chance to say hi. Yeah, hi. Hi. Oh my God, everyone, Jake and Amy are going to kiss for the first time in six months. Let those Nicholas Sparks fly. So everyone's just gonna watch us? Yes, now get to it, you lovebirds. Here we go. Come on, man. How did you get there so fast? Love finds a way. Oh. So, I know you're Jake's best friend, and- Did he say that? Did he get that on tape? No. No, he didn't say that? No, he didn't get it on tape. It doesn't matter. Either way, you screwed up big time. Anyway, all I'm saying is, I know you're Jake's best friend, and you really want him to win this bet. Are you kidding? That's the last thing I want. Jake moving in with you is my dream come true. Your apartment is two blocks away from mine. Jake will be able to pop by any time. <sighs> Imagine it. He's had a tough day. He's fighting with Amy. You know how you let things escalate. So he just walks over to my place, bottle of wine in hand, and we just talk it out. And then by the time that bottle's finished, you've come to your senses and apologized. Maybe I don't want to win this bet. I love these thermal goggles. Amy, listen to me very carefully. If you and Jake are thinking of trying, you are ovulating like crazy right now. You take that helmet off before I knock it off. What? Your basal temperature is off the charts. This is a good thing. The auditor will start by joining Peralta and Santiago on their gang stakeout because... They're America's dream couple. You need to calm down. We're in a workplace. Sherry can't pick them up because she's out of town with Ava, and the sitter doesn't get to my house till 6.30. Jake and I can pick them up. Absolutely. Couple of issues. I don't have any car seats, and my rear window is technically a shower curtain. Really? Why? Mm. You know what? Doesn't matter. Just take my minivan. You got it. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Why are you doing that with your face? I'm smiling at mommy and daddy. Ugh. Gross. Picking up Cagney and Lacey. One taste of practice parenting and you two will be so hot to have sex. The kind that make babies. Walk away, Charles. Okay. But I'll be back in nine months. How ridiculous is Charles? So ridiculous. Maybe you should go talk to him about it, you know? Go to his house. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. And while you're talking to him, Jake and Amy can babysit your kids. Mm -hmm. Unless you're too busy making babies over there. I don't want to check it out. Now get out of us. But also, their little shoes are so cute. They're like little circles. I know! And everything they hold looks so big because their hands are so tiny. Yeah, and they have to hold a cup of water with both hands because they're so weak. I know! Whoa! Wait! That's what I'm talking about! Boy, oh. Lucky for you, Amy, I'm an unlicensed doula. I've delivered three of my cousins and one of my uncles. Long story. Go away! Yes, Jake and Amy are getting married tonight. Title of my sex tape. What? Whoa. Yeah! Whoa! Wait! I got a lot of work! A lot of work! Whoa. Give me half hour! Whoa! Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. This dress is incredible. Gina, this would have been so crazy if you wore this to our wedding. I know. Hey, Amy, I know I ruined your bear, but I made you a new one. It's a shower curtain. Uh. Yep, Terry fumbled to task. What? We got you a bouquet. Wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Where did those come from? Well, at least you found a florist in the city that was still open and picked them up. <gasps> All right, keep it in your pants. OK, here we go. Jake, Amy. Let's go downstairs. It's wedding time! So here it is. I really hope you like it. But if you don't, I will kill myself. Charles, it looks amazing. It's beautiful. How can I ever repay you? Get. 
pregnant. Use your body to give the world more Jake. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to take Charles away from you now. I will see you up there. 